Hi, this is Mary from Teacher's Pet Dog Training. <laughs> I'm working Jessie, who is an 18-month-old Border Collie, who according to her owner pulls relentlessly on her leash during walks, and if let loose will not return when called. I recorded my first training session with her and converted them into three parts. The first part is foundation work, called engagement training. The purpose of engagement training is to teach her that interacting with her owner or handler is far more rewarding than anything in the environment. We are creating what we call a mini recall session that results in a rewarding experience for her. We begin with play. Good girl. Jessie loves her frisbee and often plays frisbee with Good her girl. owner. Um, I want to preface here that this is the very go, first Jessie. time that I ever played or had Good any girl. type of session with Jessie. And so it's really important that I used two frisbees yes. and made sure that I could exchange one when she would release the one she had in her mouth for another one. This avoids any conflict in terms of me taking something from her and we call this the two toy game. Nice. Because this is the first time I've worked with Jessie and I know that she really likes frisbees, I decided to start with two frisbees. As I got to a point where she would return the frisbee to me, then I knew we could go into the engagement using food as our reinforcer. Yes. So we're going to use what we call a marker. We're going to use the word yes to get her to want to stay in my presence. Come. Yes. Girl. We're using a long line going to allow her freedom, right? She could take off if she wanted to. Here she wants to stay. Jess, come. Yes. Make sure that when I ask for her, if she comes back, I make sure I mark with the word yes. And I give her a food reward. Good girl. Good girl. Come. Yes. Make myself engaging, dynamic, moving away from her, creates her wanting to move towards me. Come. Yes. Nice work, young lady. Good girl, Jess. Yes. So again, I move, she stays with me. I mark and I reward. Yes. Good girl. So you can see the frisbee has a lot of power. So I'll use that. start paying her for bringing it back. We're getting a slight recall here. We're not putting a lot of pressure on her. We're catching this. She has the frisbee. She comes back. I make sure I pay her for coming back. This is what we're looking for, these short recalls. Ready? Come. Yes. Nice, Jess. we're getting from her, little runaway recalls, no conflict, no pressure, she chooses not to, we're not making a big deal out of it, but I'm going to pay her for staying in this bubble. So here you see she has the frisbees, yes, she follows me, she stays in the bubble, Can we use the long line just to keep her safe, but there's no restriction, this line is not making or forcing her to stay with me, she does not have to stay with me, she could be going off anywhere, she, yes, but anytime she comes back, like a little boomerang, I'm going to mark your reward. Come. Yes. Good girl, Jess. 
want that. So now I'm building in value for her wanting to come to me and be in my space, which is exactly what we're looking for, right? If there's something in the environment that's more powerful than me, then she's going to want to go do that. So I'm trying to build in a relationship, yes, and the value for her coming back. So we even have her high value frisbees out here, and she's choosing to stick with me. Yes. Nice job, young lady. But it's important that I give her little payments in the beginning, because if I don't have anything, then she will find value in going somewhere else, doing something else. And that's where the recalls start to fail. As we ask our dogs to come back, what do we have in it for them for coming back? If they see something in the environment that's more powerful, that's definitely gonna trump. So I wanna build in this value system of it. Every time she comes back to me, she's gonna get a reinforcement for doing so. And anything that gets reinforced becomes a stronger behavior. Jess, come. Yes. As soon as she turns, she starts to come back in. I move backwards and I take her. Good girl. Good job, Jess. Then we free her up. Now she gets to make a choice again. Yes. Nice. Good girl. And I pay her multiple treats as I'm moving backwards, right? I want to make this become a dynamic reward, not just a boring reward. She comes, gets one treat, and then I drop out of the, the whole thing. She comes back in, she gets her reward. Good girl. Free. So now she gets to work. Once again. Come. Yes. Nice work, Mama. Good girl. Good girl. Yeah. You keep it positive. She can't really make a mistake here because if she doesn't come back, I'm just going to be patient and wait for her and make sure that I have something really good every time she comes back. The other important thing is, I have to have something on her. We're using a leash right now, so it's okay for her to pull. We don't want any corrections on the neck uh, for her moving out and away, and if she doesn't come back, I don't want to give any corrections. So that's why we have her on a harness, where she's free-flowing and moving. I can keep her safe, but she really help. She has the freedom to move around. Now if she goes back to her frisbee again and wants to play a little bit of frisbee, yes, then I'll play a little bit of frisbee with her again. But again, this is all her now, coming back. She releases it, the reward, yes, becomes the Frisbee now. Little game of Frisbee with her. Nice job, Jess. Yes, good girl, good girl. She doesn't out it, no big deal, I wait. Yes, the moment she releases it, the reward is I play the Frisbee game with her again. Nice, good girl. Yes, good girl, mama, good girl. Good girl. She brings it back. She releases it. Yes. The game becomes the frisbee game again. Nice work. I make sure that the line is long enough that she can move freely. Good girl. Good girl. Yes. She came back. I'm going to mark and reward because I can see she's actively wanting to be invested in me. Yes. Here again, I'm moving away from her. She's moving towards me. She's actively invested in me. Yes, and this is how I build the drive to want to come in and be a part of what it is that I'm doing instead of taking off and wanting to run off all over the place. She's never been in this park before, and you can see she's not wanting to run off. Yes, she comes back again, I mark and I reward, I pay her, good girl, pay her for coming back. Did come? This was the last piece, this was going to be our last recall of the day, and I made sure that that recall was very, very high rate of reinforcement. And I moved away so that I made the reward dynamic. She didn't just come flying in, I stood there, handed her one piece, handed her one piece. I moved, 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 kept her moving, and I made sure that she got a nice, valuable, um, multiple reward succession so that she really ended on that great note where she got to say, wow, that was really worth me coming back when called. And again, with the recall, we do them very, very, maybe three, four, five in a row, and then we let it go for a while. 
So we want every one of those recalls to be really, really good. And so this is how we end her on a session of having a one really good recall for us. So today what we did is we started to build the foundation of developing a relationship between Jesse and myself so that she sees that me and what I have to offer her is really powerful. So when we're looking at engagement training, we're looking for that aha moment where the dog says, I really want to be in your presence. And once we have that and we have this relationship going back and forth, now we can introduce our dogs to lots of other things that they might be interested in. Agility, obedience, dock diving, the sky's the limit. But the most important part is that they want to be invested in you and where you are and what you have to offer. I hope these little tips help. Again, get out there, have some fun with your dog. They'll love you for it.